Oh yeah. Okay. So we took the first part of the session where we explained how to increase your audience on LinkedIn, how to get opportunities on LinkedIn, how to build your personal and business brand on LinkedIn. We've trashed that out. And I've also gone along to answer about four to five questions. And I want to continue with the questions again. All right. So the next question I have here is from, is from Priska Igwe. What do I really need to do to get hired? Oh, I've answered this one. It's simple. Uh, just get your get a good CV, get your profile optimized. I just explained how you could get your profile optimized. And then you could uh, connect with people in your industry. Connect with hiring managers. If you're looking for a job, connect with hiring managers. Connect with recruiters. Don't connect and start begging for them, begging them for a job immediately. No. Connect with them. Read their posts. Like their posts. Comment on their posts. The recruiter sees your post, your comments, three times. Person has, unless it's the person that doesn't read comments. Most of them do read comments. Person has recorded your name in his or her head. For me, I know everybody that comments on my post. And I'm more likely to respond to them on the DM when they send a DM. If, you, if we've not interacted before and you're sending me a DM, I might reply. But I might give you more attention if I've seen that we've shared with discuss about one thing or the other in the comment section of my post some time ago. It's natural, okay? You don't do a lady and just tell her you like her, you want to date her, no, no. Say hi one day, the next day you say, say too hi, and then get to know the person and probably something happens. So that's still the same way of getting hired. These days, jobs are available, but those jobs are not posted. So the hiring managers might recommend you job. Let's take the next question. How can I assess and create job alert for the job of my choice per location? Okay. Uh, okay, it's... So uh, let me show you something. Okay, so how can I create job alerts? Let me share my screen. Okay, so, so creating job alert also always helps, let's say, uh, um, sorry, sorry, I for, if I, let me ensure that you always have all of you for the newbies that are joining LinkedIn, ensure that on this, your profile, ensure that it has an all-star. All-star means that all the categories that are on your profile has been filled. So if your profile doesn't have an all-star, it means there's a, it means there's a, there is a category you need to fill. There's something you need to fill. There's something you're missing in your profile. So go back again and fill them. Ensure you fill everything and the, your profile is all-star. Hmm? Hmm. Uh, all right, so... On this, okay. just give me give me one minute, please. Uh, let me just confirm something before I. Okay, just one minute, please. Okay, so basically, job alerts helps people to get first-hand alerts on jobs in their sectors, all right? So, now, job search is strategic. You don't just want to keep looking for job up and down, all right? So, for you to get specific job alerts from companies, there's something you need to do. You need to, first of all, search for the company, after you're done searching for the company on the on LinkedIn, for example, let's say MTN, you need to go to the 
Okay, let me let me let me show you what I mean. Let me share my screen. Let me show you what I mean this time. So that's Okay, I hope you can see my. For example, MTN. If if I want, if I'm looking for a job in MTN now, what I'll do is I'll come to the search button. I'll come to the search button. I'll click MTN. Huh? See MTN Telecommunications. I'll click on them. All right, so I'll come to the job section. Hmm? Job search is strategic. You target areas you want to get a job. When I click on, when I click on jobs, I, I come here and create and see create job alert. All right, this is where you come create the job alert. Title, you put your title, the thing you want to. Let's say sales manager or whatever. You click your location and then you create job alert. This is for specific job locations, all right? I hope I've answered your question. Let's take the next question. We are running out of time. How to best position myself? How to best, uh, okay, ZN, he says, how to best position myself to attract job and lease as a Forex trader? Basically, for you to do that, you need to, it's still coming down to creating content in your field Give people reasons why they need to reach out to you as a forex trader. And you can only give people that, people that reason when you create content, when you share things in forex trading. Tell people benefits of investing in forex. Share your experiences that you've gained as, share your experiences or skills that you've gained or that you use as a forex trader. These are things that will make people to trust you and that they will move, they'll be moved to buy whatever that you're selling, okay? I hope I've answered that question. How do I get my, how do, I want to know how to optimize my LinkedIn. I've answered the question. Uh, oh, 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 Gunsina, I've answered your question, how to optimize your LinkedIn to get opportunities. Chidima says, asks, how can I get customers to enable them patronize my online food business using LinkedIn? All right, number one, Chidima, you need to, I would advise you create a LinkedIn page. Then secondly, after creating the page, you have to always strive to create content and put on the page. Then secondly, on your own personal LinkedIn profile, every two times every week, talk about the food that you're selling. Don't get tired of talking about it, okay? Add contact details, add your phone number, add your location, add your email. If possible, create a WhatsApp link, drop the link so that people can order your food business. You, need, you don't need to be tired of talking about what you are selling. If you're tired of talking about then you're not ready to get customers. Nobody would be able to know that you're selling food if you don't talk about it. And how do you talk about that thing? You need to create content. Write short things that you cannot say, I'm selling food today. Tomorrow you say, I'm selling food. You can start today and say, benefits of this kind of food. Hmm? Then at the end, you narrow it down to, you sell this kind of food. You can narrate the experience of how you, prepare a delicious delicacy and your customer liked it. You can share customer reviews. Always talk about your business, all right? That is what will help you to sell. Create content. Today, create, you, can, you can list out, you can, you can even list, uh, there's something, I'll, there's, a, there's a platform I'll drop for you guys. For some of you that, that are struggling with how to create content, all right? Yeah, Emmanuel Ojo. So can you list the can you list the how to create a content? I got only got start with short content. All right, so I'll answer the question later. There's a there's a platform I'll drop. Uh tweak, tweak your bees. So this platform I use it sometimes to 
give me ideas on what to write about. All right, so for example, I want to talk about something. So these ideas suggest topics for me. So I now build content around that topic. Emmanuel, I think it answers your question. It gives me ideas, right? So I can say sales. Give me five tips on how salespeople can become better or uh, challenges salesperson face or uh, uh, companies. Why, how, why companies need salespeople? So it gives me an idea of what I need to search and what I need to read on or what I need to share. So when you're creating content, you need tools like this to be able to stimulate your brain, give you ideas on what to talk about. So when you have that idea, you now do a little research, find out what other people are talking about it and create your content in that light. Hmm? It helps you to create content. So Emmanuel, I think I answered your question. You can try this website, trickyourbiz.com. A search button you see there, put in the topic you want and to suggest for you what to write. The next question, how do I, how, how do I land a great job on LinkedIn? I've answered the question. Get your profile optimized, share contents, send connection requests, try to get yourself acquainted with people that you're targeting that have the jobs. First of all, you need to also, don't forget that you need to decide on the sectors you want to get a job before you start reaching out to connection requests. And when you connect with people, don't go straight and start begging them for jobs or tell them to buy what you're selling, create a rapport first. Then comment them on how they keep sharing contents and their expertise in the field. And after the while, ask them how they're doing, then you tell them straight up that you that you like what they're doing, that, that you would want to probably learn from them or something like that. And with time, you create rapport and then before you pitch to them. The next question from uh, Ukumi says, how to initiate conversation in DM, sell without selling on LinkedIn, especially if the person fits your ideal customer avatar. It's simple. Don't initiate conversation in the DM when you've not interacted with the person in the comment section and when you've not liked the person's post. It doesn't really work well. It works, but in one in four cases, one in five cases. So you, you can initiate DM by first of all, helping that person to know who you are in public, in the comments, if you want the person, if the person does not post, person does not share content, then you can go to the person's DM and comment the person on something good the person has done. It could be the person, one of the person's skills that you like, comment them, oh, I appreciate this skill you have because this, this, this. Hmm? You help the person feel good about himself and then the person will give you a listening ear. Hmm? That is how it works. Okay, commendation first before you bring in whatever you are. When you comment, don't go out, don't go immediately and start selling. Create a little rapport. Then you could sell in the future. The next question is from Sheyi says, I want to know how to make the best use of LinkedIn. I'm just a new member. Sheyi, first of all, get your profile optimized. Com have a complete profile. Have a good picture. Have a cover, cover uh, photo. Have an about, a good about section that highlights your skills, your experiences, and what you have to offer an individual or a company. Dennis Ndubeze says, how do I write great content on LinkedIn? Dennis, I just shared how you, you can write great content on LinkedIn. Use storytelling, start with short content. You can decide, have a content calendar, decide you share contents on Monday and on Wednesday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you can do that, fine. But when you're starting, it's usually tough. So you might just start with two days, choose a day and share contents. And then you can use storytelling and you can use pictures a lot. Talk about the things you, the sector that you are in, the skills that you have, what you have to offer. Use the website I dropped in the chat button, chat section to uh, create content. It will help to give you ideas on what to create. And then you could get it on from there. Watch my own contents, do your own that way. The next question is from Wamaka. What are the questions to ask after an interview? Uh, number one, what are the goals of the company, all right? What are the goals of, ask the, ask the person interviewing you. What are the goals? What are the long-term goals of the company, all right? And you can also ask the person, this role that you're interviewing me for, is it a new role or has someone been there before? If someone has been there before, why is it vacant? Was the person sacked? Find out, okay? I think these ones can help as well. You can also ask, what are my expectations for the job? All right, ask the person, what are my expectations? Is it target driven? Okay, is there a probation for the job? All right, research more on questions you could also ask after the interview. The next question. 
uh, how can I run an ad on LinkedIn? Okay, so basically, this, was, this question was asked by Afolabi. Afolabi, before you can run, run an ad on LinkedIn, excuse me, please. Afolabi, before you can run an ad on LinkedIn, you need to have a LinkedIn page. So you need to create a LinkedIn page for your business, all right? Then after that, you get a digital marketer. I will not advise you to run your ad yourself, okay? Anyways, just so you know, LinkedIn ads are quite expensive. So you must be on a very fat market, but marketing budget before you can really run consistent ads LinkedIn. So get a business page on LinkedIn, hire a digital marketer on freelance, on a remote or on full-time basis so that you can help you run an ad LinkedIn. The next question. Uh, uh, Valentine, how to be useful on LinkedIn, make impact, position and sell myself on LinkedIn. I've answered the question. All right, how to be useful on LinkedIn, you basically need to let people know that you're there. Eh? LinkedIn, you have to show yourself, show what you have to offer, show what you know, share what you know, give value, teach, teach, teach. If you give value, if you keep talking, if you keep talking something sensible, valuable things to come back to you, that's how it works, all right? So for you to position and make yourself a thought leader in a field, you need to be able to give out knowledge, all right? Even if you don't know much about it, read, so research on that area, take in and bring out. The next question. Uh, okay, the next question is, how can I succeed in real estate? using social media. Well, the real estate industry is a, is a very dogged industry. Succeeding real estate industry, you must be strategic. I don't know what you mean by succeeding. Real estate is quite large. I don't know whether you mean construction, marketing, sales. I don't really understand. But generally for you to succeed in real estate, it still has to do with content. I talk about, I, I sell real estate as well. So I also create content about around that. I share tips on that. I sell through a page and I also network via the TM. So network, create content, create a page, and also, if you can, use influencers. The next question by Max, Maxwell says, how do I start using LinkedIn? And how can I assess it, assess it showing me jobs available and asking them to join? And who is asking to join? I don't really understand your question very well, but basically, uh, creating jobs on LinkedIn, uh, getting access to jobs on LinkedIn. I just showed you how to, you can create job alerts on LinkedIn a few minutes ago. I need to watch the video again if you're not here. Watch the video again. You can know how to create a lot on link on link job alerts on LinkedIn. And then you could also follow pages that share openings. Follow pages like CV Genius and Career Matters and some other pages that share openings. All right. The next question by Mary says, Can I learn more about how to develop my career? All right, Mary, if you want to develop your career. Add, get more trainings, all right? Get more practical hands-on trainings on skills that could make you employable, okay? That's one way you can develop your career. If you're already in that career already, get certifications to back up, to give you, to help you grow in the career. Don't just be static. You get a job now, even if it's uh, an entry-level job, start to gain certifications that will help you. And also start documenting what you do. And as you document, tell the public, those things you do, they will know that you're growing and more responsibility will be given to you, okay? All right, the next question is, uh, how can how can I use this platform to create content? I've talked about this. How to increase, next question, how to increase LinkedIn audience. I've answered this question. The next question is, how does one, who is it a good writer, content writer, still relevant on LinkedIn? If you're not a good writer, please start with short posts. Don't write too much stories. Don't write four or five lines is okay. You mustn't be a good writer to do very well on LinkedIn. Four or five lines is okay, all right? It's gradually, all right? You get a momentum and then you can do longer posts. The thing is, the truth about the matter is, you must have to create some sort of content for you to remain relevant on LinkedIn. For, for writers, it's an age for them. It helps them. But if you're not a writer, you must be able to share, see something consistently, something that is connected with your skills, 
your industry, whatever you're doing at the moment. So I dropped, I dropped a website that can help you, tweakyourbeast.com, use it, research on it, put, put words in the comment section and click on search to give you ideas on things you can research and write about. Go to Google. Google has so much information. Go there, read, understand, translate it to your words. You have content. The next question. Okay, uh, what are the book seminars, trainings you engaged in during your undergraduate days that made you a spotlight? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not really the book type. I wasn't really the book type during my undergraduate days, but I read when I needed to. Trainings, books. Oh, it depends on your industry. So you might need to Google, depending on your industry, read books that has to do with your industry and the skills you want to acquire. If you're an entrepreneur, you can't just start reading books on tech. You need to read books on entrepreneurship. No management, management and thereabouts. So for books, search on books that has to do with if you're a salesperson, Akin Alabi just released a book, How to Sell to Nigerians. Buy the book, read. Seminars, attend seminars that will help you sharpen your skills in that area. I cannot be a I cannot be a salesperson and start attending training that has to do with something different from what I'm supposed to do. You attend trainings that will enhance your skills and make you a better professional. Okay. All right, so these days it's easy. As an undergraduate uh, stu student, as an undergraduate, you might need to use platforms like Coursera, Udemy, Khan Academy, UDX to get added skills and certification that will help you get better jobs. All right, the next question Ajiboye says, how do you come up with what to post? How to get active? How not to be afraid to reach your to employer? How to come up with my post? I get inspiration from everything that happens around me. Anything that happens around me, I try to note it down. Okay, I try to think about what I can talk to people that will help me. I try to talk, think about the challenges people are facing in my area, in my field, and then I'll do that. How to get active? All right, it's as simple as possible. I I try to fall in love with LinkedIn. I use the app more than every other one. I use it on my mobile device every time. Okay, so try to connect to people, have a support system. I said this earlier in, our, earlier in the class, have a support system, people can cheer you up, and then they can help you to grow. How not to be afraid? First of all, comment on their, how not to be afraid to reach out to your potential employee. Comment on their post, all right? If they don't share posts, send them a DM, commenting them on something. It could be a news in their sector that they did this one, they did that one. Tell them you saw them in the news, all right? Appreciate them, all right? If they don't reply, reply, move on. Many of them do not reply. Move on. Go to another person. The person is not the only person on LinkedIn. The next question, uh, Prince says, want to know, that's my question. The next question, David says, please, what is the best way of COVID emailing clients and closing a huge deal? Uh, okay, so code emailing works, it still works, but first of all, you don't want to just send them a D a, an email you could send them an email uh just like the dm method whereby you send them an email telling them you appreciate what they are doing in their sector for example someone like uh, let's say uh onyeka koma the ceo of plenty waka farm crowdy and uh crowd invest no no he's no longer the ceo of crowd invest you know and a whole lot of other businesses he has you can send him uh, an email telling him that you had the news that he did this, he did that, that you just want to appreciate him and more grease to his elbow. That's you know, that's 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 the first way of starting a good conversation. And after some time, you still send him another email, ask him one or two questions in the sector, you know. And the third one, he might be the one to ask you what you do and all that. But don't pitch on the first instance or on the second instance. Give them time, all right. Get them, let allow them to know you first, and then you could pitch what you have to offer. All right, I hope I have answered your question. Okay, that's all. So if you have questions, we're wrapping up. Uh, you can drop it in the chat box, chat session so that we could take that and um, wrap up for the day. Okay, uh, all right. So I will upload the videos on the, on the, in my YouTube channel so that you could check it out later. Right, so uh, so I don't know if you have any other questions. You could drop in the section chat section so that I could take it out before before I go.
as, as a final year student, what advice can you give me? All right, so final year, um, start creating content, number one. Learn, learn, learn. Use Coursera. There are some free courses. Use Udemy. There are some free courses. Get, get skills that will help you succeed in your area of it. I don't know your field. I could have suggested one or two things you could do. But basically, don't wait till you're out of school before you take start taking steps. Start getting, start building relationship with hiring managers. If you're if you want to get a job, a full-time job, start getting building relationship with hiring managers. Right? They are the keys, they will help you. And also pre so create content, get more skills that will help you get better jobs. All right. Skills, focus on skills, acquire the right skill set. Find out, go to Google, search the skills. For example, if you're an economist, search for skills that are needed as by a professional economist. One by one, start acquiring those skills. If, I acquire, if you acquire seven out of those 10 skills, major skills that you need in that sector, it's just a matter of time before you get a job. And then after that, uh, um, get a, start getting acquainted with hiring managers, start applying for internship roles on a remote basis. You could even be, you could even be doing a remote job, doing your youth service and also be doing your youth service. Hmm? So this would help you a lot. Hmm? Yeah, so that's basically the thing. Build relationship, network, people that will help your life. Any other question? Any other question? Please, please ask so that we could wrap up. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, all right, guys, thank you for, um, thank you for coming around today. Appreciate all of you. And uh, let me drop the link to the YouTube channel so that you could always check out later. Let me drop the link now so that you can check out later by, if by, by tomorrow or next, I should have uploaded all the videos you could go there to watch. Okay, uh, so. Okay, so yeah. So, Yeah, thank you, Gabriel. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, so this is the link. By tomorrow, hopefully. Thank you, Emmanuel. I know. Thank you, Jennifer, again. Appreciate all of you. Thank you for coming around. I hope I can do this. Is just the tips. I really didn't go deep because there are a whole lot of this. It's not something you can learn, you can learn everything in just one day. So, hopefully. Yeah, thank you, Kelechi. Hopefully, next subsequent times, just look out for another training. I could highlight more and give you better understanding of how our LinkedIn works. But I hope you've been able to get the basics, get a good profile. Ensure you have an all-star profile. As a, you, you saw what I showed you. You see the all-star profile, all right? So ensure you have an all-star profile. Everything is filled. Even your job section, you have things filled there, all right? to help you a lot. Hmm? Then start creating content gradually. Start talking. Talk, talk. That thing you will say when you see someone. See it on LinkedIn. Don't be scared about people that are there. They are humans as well, all right? Okay, guys. So uh, I have to go now. Thank you for coming around. I will upload, check back the channel in one or two days. You can watch these videos again. And then if you have one or two questions, you can send me a DM on LinkedIn. But please be patient so that I will answer the question. Don't expect that if you send me a question now, I will respond. Because I still have a lot of things I do myself. Bye-bye, guys. I hope I will see you some other time. And I hope I'll see... You can tag me on your post on LinkedIn. I will ensure that I comment. I will engage in your post. So tag me. Tag me on your post, all right? Tag me and mention me on your post. I would, I would um, comment on your post. I will help you, all right? So just tag me to, to help boost your morale, all right? And I might just form a group that will help all of you. So... Uh, so uh, the number, yeah, just look for a way to send me a DM or comment on my post. I will add a group for everyone who attended this training to see how I can help 
to boost your LinkedIn profile and your visibility. All right. I have to go now. Bye, guys. Thank you for coming around. See you some other time. Bye-bye.